before, gusto ko ako lang lahat eh. Actually, it will come to a point na, ah, kailangan mo talaga ng mga good people eh. Hi, I'm David Licauco for Esquire Philippines. I think it's because uh, there is an instant, um, instant gratification, <laughs> instant um, satisfaction from the customers, eh, diba? So, parang, if you see them na uh, nasarapan sa food, matutuwa ka eh. Pero kapag uh, hindi naman sila nasarapan, it's easy lang naman to, okay, let's, let's do another research and development, diba? And um, I would say I'm a foodie. I love food. And yeah, I think, uh, Restaurant business is super competitive. It, I would say it's the, one of the hardest um, businesses that anyone can um, get into, but I love the challenge. Also, I'm here already, so just doing my best. A lot, eh. A lot talaga. Like, uh, when I first started out, um, ang problem ko was kung paano ako mapakilala yung brand ko. Diba? And yung benta, uh, yun yung mga problema mo. And then now, I'm in a state where my, my problems, my, the challenges that I encounter every day are getting bigger and bigger every day. Diba? Kasi hindi na lang siya iisang branch eh. Marami ka ng branches, and then um, may komisari ako. So, paano magiging profitable yung komisari kung like, eto lang yung branches mo, diba? So, it's, it's a, there are new challenges every day and um, it's hard, of course, given my busy schedule. But uh, I also learn how to delegate um, work because dati ako lahat gumagawa eh. So now I have a good team and I'm working around that but uh, we're not yet um, perfect. Like anything naman, diba? So I'm getting there, I'm getting there. In meetings, I am the last one to talk. Um, I just listen to their sentiments, their ideas, their proposals, and then I usually digest it. Not during the meeting, eh. I digest everything after. Because I don't know, di ko alam kung bakit eh. Baka mabagal ako mag-isip. <laughs> so I just really take my time to think about it. Eh? Because every business decision matters. I see business as a, as a sport, I would say, na parang kailangan ko mag-improve every time. It's just fun, you know, like having your own brand. Makita mo na, this is how I started and now we are here and what can happen in the next few years, diba? And that keeps me motivated. I think now that I have a team, there is another layer of motivation just because I want I want them to succeed also. Like with them now working with me, like doing their best at all times. I wanna give back their hard work and trust that they put in my company. There is no perfect product. Um, I think you just really have to launch it and um, you will learn along the way. Yung mga aspiring entrepreneurs, parang they take a while para like to like, take the, the next step na mag-launch, di ba? I think you just have to do it. It's a never-ending end, never learning curve, I think. Uh, every day has its own problems. You just have to do it talaga. Number two would be, um, I think empathy plays a big factor sa pag negosyo um, I think the way I, I do my business is design thinking. I always try my best to empathize with my business partners, my na, mga people I work with. I think study every day. Um, number two, um, I just have to do it. I just have to launch your product. Uh, number three, don't be afraid to fail. You just have to do it because if you don't do it, you lose more, diba? And then number four would be find, find a good team. 
I think that's very important. Kaya before, gusto ko ako lang lahat eh. But actually, it will come to a point na, ah, kailangan mo talaga ng mga good people eh. So, Um, I want Kuya Korea to be all over the Philippines, um, maybe in all SM branches. Ang dream ko is like, for example, gusto nila lang kumain ng quick eats or like medyo fast food, ganyan. I mean, of course, Jollibee and McDonald's are there, <laughs> Popeyes, but I want to be one of them. Hopefully, uh, I mean, it's better to dream big than dream small. <laughs> for sober naman, uh, I think I want it to be strategic. I don't want it to be all over the Philippines. Maybe like in the key areas, lang like a, maybe as far as as far as Cebu, I can go there and Manila, Makati, QC, maganyan. And pag nag business ka kasi, mas maraming mga open opportunities. For example, now na nag restaurant ako, I think my, yung pain point ko kasi is ang mahal ng bilihin ng mga supplies. So ngayon um inaaral kong mag-import dito ng mga raw materials ko, which is like mga chicken, mga beef, ganyan. So that can be another business in the future, di ba? Na pwede akong maging supplier, hindi lang para sa negosyo ko, but also sa mga ibang tao. You know, so I'm going back again to being self-aware. Di ba? Kung alam mo lahat, you will be, you will, you will get to places. I'm getting into ano, uh, product-based business, yung beauty. So we are launching very, very soon. Um, in fact, like the other day, I had a meeting and ganda ng product. So looking forward to that. And uh, maganda kasi dito, parang makatulong ako sa mga aspiring na magnegosyo eh. Kasi mura lang yung package namin, di ba? Nag-promote eh, no? Mura lang yung package namin. Diba? So, magkakaroon sila ng sarili ng negosyo na hindi ganun kataas yung buhon. Beauty coffee shop, for example, there's collagen, uh, glutathione, there's L-carnitine in there. I think there's high demand in um, beauty, for sure. Yung mga iba, yung mga iba nga I heard na they would rather magpaganda than kumain, diba? I mean, I try to veer away from, oh, it's David's business. Because they have to stand on their own. Yung sobra, parang hindi naman ako masyadong pinapost talaga nun. Although Kuyo Korea, it's in another division. It's fast food and usually naman yung mga fast food may mga endorsers, di ba? So, but still, I try my best na to really veer away from uh, me owning the brand. I think during the start to build awareness, it was needed. But I think right now, we have built enough awareness uh, we need to really work on and market the product.